What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. It's a pretty stacked pack. Ren 6, Tefri, Palantir, Underground and Badlands, Remand, Through the Breach. It's pretty good. Some good stuff. It's good stuff. Might just start with the Underground Sea. Nice, even, nice, nice, beautiful dual land. I do like it Through the Breach. I like breaching. Palantir is always a banger, and it keeps us non-committed. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's reset this goal so we can... Good questions, good questions. That wasn't the right one. It's this one. Reset. Bam. Okay. <sighs> I like Through the Breach, I like Underground, I like Palantir. Those are my three favorites in this pack. Am I, am I able to resist a Through the Breach? I don't think so. I think I'm a big stupid sucker idiot. If we took Underground, we could take Tundra here, that would be nice. I think we're just taking Fiery Confluence when we got a Through the Breach. That card is Bananas, B-A-N-A-Annas. You know how it goes. Volcanic Island, that's a good deal. I also like a Bone Shards. I also like a Kolagon's Command. I also like an Inti, actually. Inti's pretty good. I think we're Intiing, because this leads me to believe we're gonna try to reanimate. Let's take Inti. Inti is just a banger. Oh, this card is my favorite. <laughs> this card's great. Love it. Um, Could be Shallow Graving. I think I have a piece of almond stuck. In my little teeth. Little teeth. Little teeth. I could see Shallow Grave. We would need more discard outlets. I don't think it's Golos. I don't. <laughs> uh, it's funny, as soon as I said that, you're like, Golos lets us splash other color. Not really, though. I don't think it's Rampaging or Faithless. I don't think it's Beseech with triple black. We'll take Shallow Grave and see how that... Oh yeah, we're definitely taking Scalding Tarn here. Gold Span's really good, but I'm taking an on-color fetch land. If Night's Whisper, Gold Span, or Inferno Titan come back, I'll be very okay with that. I do like an Othari. <laughs> More than most, I think. Currency Converter also very good, and it's a discard outlet. I think we're just taking Currency Converter here. Delayed Blast Fireball. What does this do? It deals two damage to each opponent and each creature they control for three. So it's just like a Pyroclasm, right? If it's cast from exile, it deals five damage to each opponent and each creature they control instead. So you could foretell it and then come back when you got six mana and just do it up. Just north of fair is such a is a good that's a good description. I think this is actually pretty good. We also have Fiery Confluence though. Maybe we just want like Scrapwork Mutt to discard. Yeah. Uh, whatever, we'll try the Delayed Blast Fireball. Well, nothing in here is exciting. Could take Thopter Foundry and just hope to land ass backwards into a into a combo. Could take Putrid Imp. I think I like the implications of this better, especially if it just puts us in Grixis. And there's a Badlands and an Underground that could come back. Who knows, man. Thank you. This doesn't look like a Sylvan Library deck, to be honest. Well, not yet. 
God. Patience. Stuart, appreciate the resub, my dude. This doesn't seem like a... Uh, snug? Snuggus? Snugus? Smuggus? Oh, the Underground Sea came back? Anna Xander's Lounge. Holy majolies. I'm going to go with the Underground Sea here. I love a Xander's Lounge, but having the untapped dual land is just pretty good. Oh, the Trilander. Schmungus. <laughs> I'm going to look it up again. It was very funny. Oh, the Tundra came back too? That's weird. I'm going to take Tundra. Who knows what's, what's happening. Attention. I, I married... Okay, I'm at my girlfriend's house. Can someone tell me what these categories are? Schmungus? I'm on a VPN. A VPN into what? Another dimension? I married a schmungus. What the hell is a schmungus? <laughs> what is the schmungus among us? What the f schmungus is revenge? What? They stole my schmungus. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really good. All right, I think we're just taking Monastery Mentor here. I don't know what's going on with this deck anymore. Herbor. Oh my god, do I just take Genesis Engine? <laughs> it's so much better than any of these other cards, sure. <sighs> Come on, dude. This card is so good. No one takes this card. I love it. I love it so much, man. It's my like it's my favorite card. Dude, it's like a frantic search that lets you make a 1-1 one -one as well. I don't get it. It's so good. Vindicate seems great for these colors that we're in right now. Fury is like two tickets right now on Magic Online. I'll take a Timeless Dragon. Huh. Oh my god, last pick Lingering Souls? <sighs> Alright, I mean... This is just what we fell ass backwards into. I like an attract, so that seems really good. We can also discard it to Shur Shurokai and then reanimate it with the uh, Shallow Grave. Yeah, I mean, there's so many cards that can come back here, too. I'll take a Torsten. I'll take a Leyline Binding. Sheldock. Yeah, we're definitely taking a Traxa here. Look at these, like, first four. These are literally, like, three of the four first picks. And we're just not playing any of them. That's kind of hilarious. I like a Preordain, but I think we're just taking Marsh Flats here. We also got Tundra and Underground, which is just nuts. Marsh Flats is perfect. It gets two of our main colors, and it gets our both of our dual lands. Like, also, if Skyclave comes back, that'd be great. I don't think Preordain's ever coming back, but... This is wild. This is This is a pretty solid start, I think. Mana Vault? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, Mana Vault seems good for us. There's an Oko. And a Fallen Shinobi. And a Mox Diamond. I mean, we're already playing green for this Atraxa, right? If we if we get a Plains that also, like a Spara's Headquarters, that'd be sweet. Um, 
Lingering Souls into Fallen Shinobi is also very good. I think we just Fallen Shinobi here. It's in color. We don't have to stretch our mana. I think it's Fallen Shinobi. It feels weird passing an Oko, but we're not green. Like, I think Fallen Shinobi's... We also have Thopter Foundry, so if we actually manage to get... We can sack our mana vault to Thopter Foundry, which is kind of sweet. Oh, what up, Chorwit? I like a Wandering Emperor. Rogrin Triome is a dual land. That's a late-ass time spiral. Staff of the Storyteller has been super impressive. We also have Mentor, Lingering Souls, Genesis Engine, and Timeless Dragon. And Currency Converter. Actually, I feel like this is a sick Staff of the Storyteller deck. Currency Converter, Thopter Foundry, Lingering Souls, Mentor, Shurokai, Timeless Dragon all make tokens. Oh, is Hullbreacher in the next pack? That's a bummer. I wish I knew that. <laughs> Dang it. Could take Shadow Spear, and if we end up getting a Stone Forge, then we have a couple of targets for it. That assumes we're getting Sword of the Meek as well, just to be clear. The Lifelink is also nice. Our creatures aren't really that big, though. What are we, we're, we're mostly white now, right? White, 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 white. 11 seconds. It could be Torak. I don't feel like we're going to ever have the kick for it, though. Sure, I'll just take that. Staff of the Storyteller feels like an equipment because... It's a staff. Think about it. Oh, is this a Kappa Cannoneer deck? That's interesting. Mana Vault, Currency Furter, Shadow Spear, Staff, Thopter, Foundry. We can tap a lot of these. I think we're just going to take Kappa Cannoneer here. Scrubland? We're getting all three of our of our dual lands. Yeah, good deal. That's sick. Okay, Leyland Binding came back. So did Glimmer Lens. So did Torsten. This looks like it's going to cost us three currently. I mean, based on what we've, we've picked up, I'm really glad we went with Underground Sea instead of Xander's Lounge. I don't think we're Torstening. I kind of like Glimmer Lens, though. No, nah, we want Leyline. It's an answer to things. Uh, I'll take Tezzeret. Sea Chrome Coast? Sure. Yeah, I mean, a three mana, it's O-Ring with Flash. That's, yeah, that's 100% correct. And it just gets better from there. This deck looks pretty sweet. Shallow Grave looking a little awkward, but I mean, like, if we're just bringing back an Atraxa for a, a quick hit, it's pretty good. And Dural. Also, Adeline and Weathered Wayfarer. I think I like Anduril better than Shadow Spear. But we're also setting up real nice for this Sword of the Meek and Stone Forge that we're going to see in the third pack. Look at these four red cards just sitting here. Oh, wow. And Necromancy. I think I have to take Necromancy here. We already have a Traxa and we can easily set up for more stuff. That's wild. That's a 14th pick necromancy? Come on. What are you thinking? I'll take a Samwise. I mean, I even considered Samwise in the, the first time because 15th pick Salem to the West. Sure. I considered Samwise earlier because we had uh, two fetch lands, so...
All right. Well, time walk it is, I guess. <laughs> I would love a fractured identity, but I'm not going to pass a time walk. Ain't gonna catch me. Ain't, ain't gonna catch me slipping, unless I'm slipping into a second turn. That's pretty good. Target player slips into the second turn. Just slide on into it. I do like Fatal Push here. I don't think we're a balanced deck. Your mom's slipping into a second turn. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's kind of rude. My mom did actually slip into a second turn. Still not over it. If Life Death, Urtai, or Odawara comes back, that would be fantastic. I think I do want the cheap removal, though. Oh, Flash. Oh, Rafine's Tower. Jeez. Yeah, I don't feel like we're a great Flash deck here, especially because we passed Torsten in the last pack. Yeah, I think it's just Rafine's Tower here. Portable Hole's neat. Savine's Reclamation's neat. Him to Torok is good, but I don't feel like we're going to be double blacking on turn two. I think I'd rather just have the good fixing. Caracas, Thieving Skydiver, Teferi. Triplicate Titan is pretty good. And we just passed a Flash. Jeez. What does it say? If it would put, put XL at the beginning. Okay, so if we shallow grave in a track so we can actually Caracas it <laughs> and it doesn't die. I think we're just taking Teferi because it's Teferi, but nevertheless, that's a cute interaction. Selfless Spirit. I do like a Karn here. We have a good amount of artifacts. I think Karn is actually pretty good. Get Probe, Inquisition, Damnation, Doomna Doomsday. Doomsday and Damnation. Parallax Wave is pretty good. Man, another deck where we don't get Sword. This card is just not nearly as good without Sword. It's really sad. We're going to take Reanimate here because it's, it's pretty nuts. Well, I guess we're moving that out. I don't care about Shallow Grave. We can either play Shadow Spear or Andoral. I think it's Andoral. Where's the next pick here? Come on. Hollow Fountain? Archon of Cruelty, though. Oh, yeah, we're definitely Archoning. That's a shockingly late Archon of Cruelty. Uh, unfortunately, right now, our only means of discarding are Currency Converter and Shokurai? Shokurai? Shorakai? Nailed it. But nevertheless, I'm not going to pass an Archon. Fractured Identity came back. It 
It tabled? Stop it. Get some help. Life Death came back too. Okay, well. Balance came back? I don't think we're a balance deck. Unbelievable. Uh, Stop It, Get Some Help is Michael Jordan from, like, I think it's, like, an 80s, uh, I don't even know, like, an 80s, it's, like, an 80s help commercial. <laughs> it's a McDonald's anti-drug PSA, apparently. Stop it. Get some help. I was I went to pick up some plywood today, so that was fun. And um I forgot to eat Flash <laughs> with Archon and Atragasa? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Flash is actually pretty good here because we can put these in the graveyard, then reanimate them for value. <laughs> um I kind of like Masker Girl here. Thank you. Concealed Courtyard. That is another land, another fixie land. Damnation came back? Intuition is interesting. We can actually put like a Traxa and Archon. And something else. Like, hmm. Scully Goth, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. I was a Scully Goth once. Oh my god, last pick Shattered Sanctum? <laughs> That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm gonna put Masker Girl on the sideboard in case we need to Masker Girl. Seven creatures, but Staff makes a creature, Currency Converter makes some creatures. Lingering Souls makes creatures. I think we'll take out Andoral. Karn makes creatures. Genesis makes creatures. Fractured Identity can make a creature. Wow, did every land end up being really, really good for us? That's cool. Our mana is very good. It makes me so sad when we get this, but we don't get Sword of the Meek. Is Intuition cool here? Put a Traxa Archon. We have two of them, so at least one will make it to the graveyard. We could also put Timeless Dragon in the graveyard. That's actually kind of neat. Hello, my dear. need one more cut here. Intuition seems like it could be good. We can get Lingering Souls, Timeless Dragon, Atraxa, Archon. Put a bunch of things in the graveyard that actually do other things. I'm actually kind of excited about that. I would play 41 here. Sort by Colares. See. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened to these first four picks, but we're here now, you know? So... Three white, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white. Okay. Don't need a green. Or do we just play a green just to just to splash a Traxa? Oh, currency converter makes treasures. 
and we're probably just going to reanimate that thing anyway, so I don't think we need a green. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seems decent, especially with no double blues. Black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six. We get one more land. Hmm. Fascinating. Might just be another white. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, this is nine, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's eight. Okay. So that's a black. That's both. These are blues. Yeah, I'll just add one more blue, I guess. Oh, that's only 16. All right, mm -hmm. one more black it is then. All right, I'm in. Here for a good time, not a long time, you know. Man, our pack, our, our first four picks were like through the breach, fiery confluence, NT, and then just like they fully pushed us into this Esper, uh, Esper deck. Keep this hand. Start with a little, little Rafine's Tower. Oh my God, MTG Pyro! You cannot be responsible for all of the subs ever. It's not sustainable. Okay, it's a good start. And they didn't do anything with it. Fascinating. Staff, staff of the Storyteller. But sure. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you want to do, man. Planes, got it. Uh, let's just go Concealed Courtyard here. Joke's on you. I wasn't going to do anything with it anyway. Could have actually cycled this guy in Necromancy'd. Yeah, that's true. Determining my dreams with with the with the thank yous is definitely is definitely valuable. All right, we got underground tundra island island island. So let's get a blue one. We got black black black, white white white. Tundra it is. Hmm. I feel like we cycle this guy. I don't know how exciting that is. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Ugh. Well, I am going to go get underground here, just to thin the deck a little bit. I mean, the reason I didn't do that was because I'd rather get two dragons than one. Is that greedy? I don't know if that is greedy. I feel like it's almost greedy to to, to discard it just to... Just to make the guy like you're being more greedy about like getting it into play faster like I feel like an argument can be made for both okay um I 
I mean, we're also in a position where we can almost cast Archon of Cruelty eventually, so that's kind of funny. See, like, if they counter this, let me just get to Eternalize it after that. That's fine. Okay. And they didn't do anything? Are they gonna are they gonna treachery this? Probably. They have six cards. I'm very confused. White, white, blue. Blue parallax wave. Okay. That's fine. That's interesting. If I had one more mana, oh man, Archon of Cruelty would be great here. Goodbye, my little dragon. Like, I think if we hit a land, we're just going to time walk next turn. And then... Walk right into an Archon. Oh, fascinating. Well, I don't like when they're tapped out. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> they're going to counter this? Yes. Containment Priest. That resolves. Yep, you got it. Well, I guess we're not going to do this. Thank you. And then we are going to time walk. And hope we just hit a land here. <laughs> so they happen to have exactly Containment Priest, and we just drew the seven mana card that we just don't have a green for. I don't understand how the universe works. I'm not a physicist. Snoozlemoo, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. <sighs> That's unfortunate. So all the cards in our hand are dead? Sounds good. Should have added just a forest, maybe? Can't search for it. Oh, good. Fantastic. Thank you! Orzo, thank you for the gifted subs, my dude. Really appreciate it. All right, they have three Thank cards you. in hand. Oh, MTG Pyro with the other gifted subs. Really appreciate those, my Thank dude. You. Let's bring this guy back. And by bring him back, I mean play him. I don't know what that means. I think I was thinking of a, of a, a necromancy, but there's nothing necromancy, and they have containment priests, Thank so, you. you know, not great. See, once you hit seven lands, then the lands start drying up, you know? Oh, Shua Garner with the five gifted subs. <laughs> oh man, nothing but nothing but saints in this chat. Oh, you guys are fantastic. I love you guys. Can you guys think of a better gift for the thank yous? Thank you. I feel like I should update it. I just don't know what to thank what what to update it with. Okay, well they have a lot of. They have a lot of Thank mana you. available and three cards in hand. All I need is one land. <laughs> oh. Thank you. How is this real? Wait, they have Containment Priest, so when the, these don't never come back is what's happening? Okie dokie. We're just going to go to the next game. Fatal Push killing this, and then we just still have nothing to get. 
And then, like, yeah, that's kind of obnoxious. Wait, what's the emote you want? Yeah, I don't think somebody touched my spaghetti over and over and over is really going to be the uh, the gem that, that we're looking for. Fascinating. Oh, I'll definitely get you an um hello. <sighs> Gotta mulligan this on the draw, unfortunately. Uh, oh, this is good. We have two of the big fat idiots in our hand. And two reanimate spells and an intuition. So that's just fantastic. Guess we're going to five here. Sure, I'll keep this five. So we're going to keep, put two cards back. We'll put Sam back and an island back. And this is a decent, this is a decent five. If we hit one more land, we can turn three, time walk, turn four, Genesis engine. I don't hate that. Also, MGG Pyre, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I won't know if I don't try. Well, the thing is, I will know that, uh, Somebody touch my spaghetti over and over and over would actually destroy my brain, I think. So, I, uh, I'm going to avoid just trying that. I'm going to play Containment Priest. Yeah, fantastic. Gotta love the main deck Containment Priest. Sounds good. Really good to have a Narset out when our when our big plan was Genesis Engine. Currency converter. Oh, biscuits. Buttery, beautiful biscuits. Sure, we'll currency convert. I am tempted to time walk here. I don't think it does anything though. I think I'd rather just discard a Traxa. Just one and one for the old fan. Yeah, no, that's fine. I could put that on the soundboard again. But like, I definitely don't think it needs to be the repetitive sound sound bite for 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 subs. I want things that are going to encourage people to view and subscribe rather than deter them from that. <laughs> yeah, let's not currency converter during our turn because then we're just discarding. But. I don't know if there is a way to rotate through a handful. Not the way I have it set up currently. Oh, good. They have the Wandering Emperor. Oh, I like Fatal Push on this little guy. Okay, cool. That was nice. So we know they have mana leak. If we make a rogue, they literally just play Wandering Emperor and block it. Hmm.
that still feels good. And if they don't want to do that, then they're just counterspelling it. That's fine. Simulk is really sweet tech against Narset. Yeah. Well, let's see if they want to make a guy. Okey, hard to chokey. We're just trading here. That seems fine. Hmm. So draw a card, then discard a card, and make a pilot. Is that any good? Maybe. Just making one one seems fine, I guess. Boy, Narsa sure is a pain, huh? <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> I thought... Oh, God. Oh, I thought this deck was, like, really sick. Like, this was probably one of the sweetest decks I thought we've had in a while. Staff of the Storyteller. Attack mm, Narset. If they didn't have four cards in hand, I'd feel a lot better, but they do. We know one of them is a mana leak. Just trading with Lauren. Interesting. Let me guess, Parallax Wave. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sounds good. Bounce that spirit token. You got it. Marsh Flats. Yep. Come on, dude. Come on. Yep, that's pretty much game. Really? I mean, I have a currency converter. Sure. What's a fourth planeswalker, you know? <laughs> oh, wonderful.
Discard a card. Yeah, okay. Well, that costs three. We know they have mana leak, so not great. Also, which Planeswalker do you even take out, you know? The three mana one, the four mana one, the four mana one, or the five mana one? Fascinating. One, two, three, four. We're going to play this. They might think we don't have the mana, but then we're going to Currency Converter. Blink. B -b -b Blink. Really? <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Uh, never don't have it, I guess. Good times, man. Dude, I feel like the, the opponents I've played against in this iteration of the Vintage Cube are either opponents that literally have every answer every single second or opponents who literally don't know what they're doing and concede immediately. There's no in-between. Good times. Like, I think my least favorite part about Magic, and I've said this before, is like when you're struggling to just claw your way back into a game, you're like, oh my god, I have to fucking maximize every tiny advantage I can get. And you're getting these tiny percentage points while your opponent is absolutely dominating you. And you finally think you're going to get like rid of one, one problematic game piece and then they just have the answer to stop you after you've after you've clawed your way in and it's just like so demoralizing oh you thought that was going to matter hmm, yes no it does not okay I don't know what's going on here but I guess I'll mulligan to five for the second time this draft sure I guess we'll put two lands back We can put Seachrome Island back and then just keep these two. Yeah, sure. Oh, God. This is a good start to this draft. <laughs> I did not expect this deck to perform this way. Yep. My kingdom for a two drop. There he goes, giving away his kingdom again. All right, well, that's not. That's pretty interesting. Does that change anything? Like, do I just keep it for Mentor Trigger? Or I can play Mentor right now. Teferi next turn. With three mana, I think I just want to keep it. But I will play it now, because I just, I'd rather, if we draw something big next turn, I'd rather be able to cast that for five or so. Okie dokie. They're probably going to take Teferi. Big surprise. Hmm. 
Mm. Playing this, even though they know about the other one, because this comes into play untapped now. This comes into play untapped always. Well, you can have that, I guess. They just dealt themselves the damage a turn. You fools. Well, that's pretty good. As far as draws go, can't complain about that, I guess. Our opponent's still with four cards. What do we want next turn? Two mana, huh? Hmm. It is definitely maddening. Yeah, it's pretty good. They can't attack with Sculler because I would just triple block that to get my Teferi back. They can't attack with this guy. I'll just double block and kill it. Leyline Binding, huh? Well, we're definitely getting rid of Adversary here, I think. All right, well, they're at eight. We're winning this, this aggro race. Until they play a balance. But then they lose cards in hand. Oh, yeah, go to seven. Mm, damnation. Actually, I mean, we have a we get a Teferi back if they do that. And we also have Lingering Souls in the yard. I can't imagine what they could have that would destroy us here, right? Nothing. No play. Well, we're playing this to trigger these other guys, so even if they counter it, I'm fine with that. Three, three, two, two. Yeah, sure. Oh, they're going to lay line binding, get their guy back and pump it one. That's pretty good. Well, I am exhausted. Yep. Well, that guy can't block anything without trading, so that's good. Yeah, that's fine. No, they don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, so you take three, four, five, six, then you die. What? You're dead. What? Oh, they. I guess they can untap it? Yeah, I guess they can untap it, but they gotta spend their turn doing that. Yeah, this is... I was like, what? <laughs> oh, boy.
Oh yeah, this guy's got to come in. We're definitely double blocking this guy. Kyrus, have a good afternoon, buddy. Sure. Any spell for Papa Franco. Come on, give Papa a spell. Oh, they're paying costs. Here we go. Samwise, get back adversary. Sure, that's fine. Come on, not a land. Dragon. It's actually pretty good. Without a spell, like it just makes our guys much worse. And then they get to untap, pay one, two. They can make their guys plus two, plus two, huh? Wait, why should I have kept the flyer instead of prowess? I mean, we could, we could chip away and deal one, but I think these guys are better in the long term. I want creatures that can trade with the Tide Hollow Sculler. I mean, I think not having it for this one turn is fine. But we'll see. Yep. Man, only two mana for this is wild. Fatal push off the top. I mean, they have to chump with their theming skydiver now because this guy's lethal. Come on, dude. Seriously? Oh, Lord. Where am I flash at? Do they go to two? I mean, they're like, I'm, I gained five this turn. What could go wrong? No John will ever be our John. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's very good. This guy's not even legendary, you know? Do I just cross my fingers that they don't have any a spell on hand? Because, I mean, they would have untapped this if they didn't have anything, right? Very tempted to double block here, which is why I'm doing that. They go up to seven, but we have six in the air. Man, this is a grind. Yep, of course they got something else. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know they had a Luris there. Wow, that's good to know. Jeez. So you just get to play... That's really good. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh my god. That's obnoxious. Sure. Intuition... One, two, three. Choose an opponent. Okay. Prowess. 
So we get three things. We get to draw one, huh? I feel like it's time walk flash. And fatal push maybe? Like if they give us fatal push, we get to kill their skydiver, deal them six. And they have to untap this what does Archon do here Wave seems good next turn, but it's God, it's really like a, a ways off. I think they just give us wave and try to survive a turn. They also just get Cathar Commando back with Luris, and that's not great for wave. Yeah, I'm going to try these three, see what happens. I mean, I feel like they give us Fatal Push here. If they give us Time Walk, they just lose. Intuition is just factor fiction where you get to choose the cards that you're that you're revealing. Yep, that's exactly what I figured you'd give us. So if we kill this guy. They take six, they have to untap this for four. They can replay Skydiver. And Prowess Guy is a 3-3, which means they can chump with something else. Or the Luris. But now they're going to 1, so they have to block. They're probably just blocking with Samwise, sure, that's fine. But it gets them off the board. And then the card they have to return with Luris is Thieving Skydiver. But they, they're going to attack, and they still go to 1 unless they attack. But they have to attack. But that means they can't block. So there's a lot going on here. Sure. That's fine because it doesn't do anything right now. <sighs> this game is surprisingly stressful. Really? You're attacking with this guy, too? I'm not sure I understand that unless you have, like, a time walk in hand. What? Prismatic ending getting rid of the 1-1. One -one. Followed by a Thieving Skydiver? Interesting. Oh, Lord. Uh, 
Yep, that's pretty good. It's weird when you feel like you get everything in the draft and you just have like the perfect version of the deck, but then it's still like you get blown out every single round. Like that's kind of what happened with the mono green deck we just played last time. And it's just kind of weird and frustrating. Oh, they're just hitting everything. It's really good to have all these these cards you can play. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> oh, good. Good times. Go to nine. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. It's good. It's very good. Yeah, what's up, Chris? Good seeing you, buddy. Let's bring in Massacre Girl here. Let's see if that does anything cool. I didn't even take a card out. I was just like, you know what? I'm Gucci. Sure. Trim a land. I've been mulliganing to five every game. <laughs> I feel like if anything, I'm going to trim not a land. I need more lands, if anything. Great. <laughs> Tide Hollow Skuller? No, not Tide Hollow Skuller. So we just get a free Teferi here, which is kind of nice. Or we can intuition for like Atraxa reanimate Archon. They'll give us one of the big creatures and then we can flash it. I mean, I'm just going to play Tefri first, obviously. Yeah, the old 42 Skidoo, a classic. Yep, those guys are good. Mm -hmm. Yep, Tefri, go bye bye. Let's go Atraxa, Timeless Dragon, and maybe, I kind of like Massacre Girl here, but they're never going to give us that, so I'm just going to get the cards that, like, no matter what they give us, we kind of get good value out of it. Now my eye is doing a twitchy thing from drinking a milkshake too fast. Oh, God. Somebody get that boy some help. What did they give us? They gave us Timeless Dragon, sure.
Man, if I had one more mana, we could have Lingering Souls. That would have been cool. Save Teferi. Let's just draw Massacre Girl. That would be super sweet, right? Oh, that would be super sweet. <laughs> That's also sweet, though. <laughs> All right, well. Let's do the thing, I guess. Wow, that'll do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, boy. One attracts Traxa, huh? Well, see you later. All right. Who hasn't been there, you know? Mm, Parallax Way seems good. Intuition is fine. Reanimate, Hell Touch, Amaris. Archon Android, Hell's What do you do when you like all the cards? What happens then? Samwise is probably the weakest card, I think. I didn't want to cut a two drop, but I feel like Sam is not frequently a two drop. Okay, I do like this hand. Turn one, currency converter. Cycle of Timeless Dragon for a land here. Oh, what up, Uber? That card's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. I do not feel like Time Walk is the play. We could cycle Timeless Dragon and then reanimate it, maybe? Four four, then they just attack and then they kill it with the jitte, right? That doesn't seem great. Yeah, I guess we're just passing here. Just gonna currency convert. Convert that. I mean, if their turn is just equipping jitte, which it doesn't look like it is actually, so that's good. They're going to boost. They're going to unlicense hearse. Well, I'm glad I didn't cycle this. Oh, I should have ac I should have activated this in response. That was bad. Discard swamp. Oh, I think they messed up too cuz they should have act they should have responded with that. Now we get to go Sanctum into Karn, which seems pretty good. So if we plus him, I think we're plussing right now. And then we can make a guy next turn. Two cards, Genesis Engine and Planes. I wonder what they give us. Spoiler alert, they gave us the Planes. Sure, exile my dragon. You got it. That's a bummer. Okay, that seems fine. Take two. Well, oh, they're just attacking our face, not even our Karn? That's interesting. So four lands... Can't reanimate anything. Hmm. 
We can dismiss all of these. Hmm. Well, let's just play Scalding Tarn, crack it. Underground. Activate this guy. Discard probably just planes here. Oh, wow, they just keep letting me use that, which is pretty good. Let's play staff first. Because then we get another token when we... Another counter on this when we make a Karn token. Always yield to this. Make another guy. Draw a card. Vindicate. It's pretty good. Uh, put a card exiled with currency converter into play. Vindicate this guy. This seems like it's going to be a bigger pain, especially when we have reanimate. So they can get our time walk and our scalding tarn if they want. All right, I mean, that feels good. I'm gonna have six here. I don't think we have any responses to anything. Yep, all right, well, you get to kill Karn, I guess. So long forever, Genesis Engine. I might have wanted to grab that. I think I was just focused on maximizing tokens. So just going to kill our other construct. Sounds good. Well, we do have free reign on this guy now. So we're going to go planes, draw a card. That's fascinating. One, two. Oh. Well then. I wonder if I should have just, I wonder if I should have just discarded Massacre Girl and reanimated it. That doesn't f feel correct, but now I don't think we can kill this guy very easily. There's no creatures in the graveyard. I think we should have done that. Yeah, and by doing so, we'd still have a Massacre Girl out and then we could have fallen Shinobi. That would have been... That would have been the play. I mean, we can still cycle over Fiend's Tower. I don't think them getting a hit in is going to be the worst. God, he said... He said confidently. Oh, they're going to they're gonna play a guy here, too. Hmm. No. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be difficult to kill this guy now. Now that they've got some active tokens. I think that was a big mistake right there. That's unfortunate. Oh, interesting. 
Well. Mm. Oh, that's, see, that's cute. What does that get us? So it kills everything, and then it triggers again, and that would be it, right? It's only going to trigger twice, but they're going to lose one counter on this guy. We don't. I don't think we don't have three fatties. We only have two. We only have Archon and Atraxa. But one of them has to go to the graveyard, right? So. Uh, I I don't think it kills the Thopter because this isn't gonna tr this isn't gonna resolve until her triggers are done. This is one ability. I mean, I'm not actually 100 percent sure how that how that works. I, I I'm pretty sure this is one trigger. It goes on the stack. This has to finish resolving before this resolves and puts one creature into play. So I, don't, I definitely don't think that works. But it's one block of text, so I'm pretty sure it's one it's one trigger. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yes, correct, but it's all part of the same trigger. I like I, I'm just gonna do it to show you guys because it's if I'm wrong. It's good for us. Uh, let's actually double black it. But I don't think I am. But I'll be pleasantly surprised if I am. Maybe, I mean, like, it's it's worded weirdly. Usually these should be two different abilities, right? Like, this, the first part should be an ability, then it says whenever a creature dies this turn, each other creature gets negative one, negative one. That should also be a second ability. I don't know. Okay. Oh, what? Weird. I don't know how this, I don't know how this works then, I guess. That's so confusing. Yeah, I mean that was a that was a good play. I mean, they've they've lost all their Jitte counters. Unfortunately, we could not There's still like nothing to reanimate, which is quite funny. Right, each death is a trigger. I get that, but like this is one ability, right? This is one block of text. It goes onto the to stack when she comes into play. It resolves. <laughs> Hangerback Walker die. I, I guess it does work. Fuck, that's really confusing. I guess it's because it's putting a delayed trigger. Whenever whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre gets a negative one, negative one, is a delayed trigger. So it's still looking, even after the Thopter, the, the Hangerback Walker resolves afterwards. We're going to block here because I don't want to intuition. I don't want to reanimate something and then like... Like they're just going to kill it, but that's fine. Because now they have no counters and no creatures. Oh, good. Oh, actually, if they get Usher back and we reanimate, that's really good. And then we can Intuition as well. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, they're not going to play the other guy. They're just going to play this guy. Okay. Hey, it's my little buddy. So we take five. They have two cards in hand. We know one of them is the Usher.
Or knowing it's the Usher, we just intuition and get like a Traxa or something. That seems correct, right? Well, there's no reason not to get a third card that goes into the graveyard and does something like Lingering Souls. We're getting a Traxa Archon and probably Lingering Souls. Our kind of cruelty. Yeah, that's a crusher. <laughs> All right, that felt decent. All right. Okay, everybody, it's time for the third. And fucking these one land hands, man. What is the deal with the one land hands? Uh, yes, that's keeper. That is keeper. I think we're shipping Shinobi. Uh, unless we draw like. Land lingering souls, right? <laughs> he couldn't even finish his welcome back. I was like, yeah, I was frustrated, you know? I was like, well, I'm like, hey, guys, I do dang it. <laughs> we'll keep. So. <sighs> Flash is good with two cards in our deck. Shinobi is good with most creatures that we draw and good on its own. I think for that reason... I'm putting flashback. Flash them and trash them. That's what I always say. Nicholas Esposito, my man. You're a shoe guy, right? Do I have a pair of, do you have, a, I don't, I don't actually have any Jordans other than Jordan ones. I don't actually like that many other Jordans. I don't know if that makes me. Right now, I'm literally wearing these these UNC blues. I just took my shoe off to show you guys. I'm going to leave it off, though, because I don't think we're going anywhere. So I don't even need to be wearing shoes. What did they get? Lotus Petal. They got a Lotus Petal. If we hit a land, I'm tempted to time walk and kill their concealed courtyard. It's not a land. I see. Although if they don't have any permanents, Sam does get in there and gets a... Uh, I think we just pass here. I don't know, man. Like, are they going to just blow us out with a Lotus Petal? That doesn't seem correct. Without any... Without any means to, like cast something next turn time walk feels bad but they are kind of ramping up to something and that doesn't feel good either if we draw a land here actually i do kind of like i'm gonna time walk here i think a land off the top is really good for us okay <laughs> seems good if we if it was a, if it was a fetch land it'd be even better because we can samwise for fetch and then have fallen shinobi up next turn instead we just miss a land drop and time walk into nothing Time walk actively worse than preordained ponder or, uh, I don't know, portent. Okay, they got their lotus petal. Talisman. Um, do I just play Sam? Probably. I think it's a guy. Sure, I'll just play Salmon. <laughs> we got a chat and match now. Uh, I will choose nothing because nothing has gone to the graveyard.
Okay, so we didn't hit, I don't know if you guys noticed, we didn't hit a land. Um, so that's cool. I'm working on it, Nicholas. I'm working on it. Not actively, passively. More, more passively than actively. Okay, that's nice because I don't have any artifacts. You know what? Joke's on you, buddy. I don't even have an artifact. Put that guy in the garbage can. It's true. I'm letting two chats distract me. I'm like, huh, 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 huh? Wow. Oh, I get to draw, though. That's a four drop. Seems good. Fetch land. Yes! <laughs> Fetch land into Samwise is actually pretty sick here. But Samwise isn't there because they actually, it went to the, it went to the, his forever, his new forever home. Sam went over the rainbow bridge, so we don't actually get to do that. Um... I'm kind of tempted to kill this talisman. I'm also kind of tempted to just take Thieving Skydiver. Because next turn it gives us... <sighs> yeah, let's Rafine's Tower here. And we'll reanimate this guy. Because if we draw land, we get to return the Skydiver to their hand. Which is not what you want. But really... What can you do? Man, I keep playing against this intrepid adversary. Check chat. Oh, babe. I, am I good? Katie's trying to place a little... A little Music City hot chicken order. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying with the hot chickens? Hot chicken. Check it and see. I'm killing this guy. I'm not doing terribly for having three lands here. I'll be honest with you. They have one card. We have four. And our hand is full of bangers if the lands ever show up. This is why Magic's always like, Screw is better than Flood because you have things when the lands eventually come. Every day truly is Chicken Sunday. We are blessed by Chicken Sunday's brilliant light. Oh my god, they just hard cast that guy? Jesus. Come on, land. Yes. <laughs> Thank the good lord. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just Parallax Wave here. They have no cards in hand. If we Fallen Shinobi and Whiff, then they get a hit off Fallen Shinobi, and ain't nobody got time for that. They're also at 11. Eat them up. Yum, yum, eat them up. And next turn, we get to Shinobi. I feel like we're doing good. I feel like we're doing good. Oh, they're going to bounce their own thieving skydiver. No. Oh, they didn't. They plussed it. Interesting. But they have no cards in hand. Oh, wrong button. I was wondering. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Akimbo Shinobi. Shinobi's Akimbo. All right. So this is nice because we actually get to also...
Yeah, the difference in interfaces between uh, Magic Online and Arena are significant. Uh, one, two, three, four, you can have that guy. I'll give it to you. X gonna give it to you. Just kidding. It's Fallen Shinobi. Oh! <laughs> Franklin. Oh, we just win the game. Okay, great. <laughs> Kill this guy. Take an extra turn. Uh, I got excited. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can draw more than three lands. Look, they have Teferi. We have Teferi. They have Fallen Shinobi. We have Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, we'll just submit like this, I think. I didn't see enough that like... Oh my god. I don't know how to draw lands anymore. Just kidding, I drew lands. Uh, ship that, we'd have two blue, three white. Yeah, that's good. Keep it, you're up a game. Yeah, I'll just risk it. Our decks are the same. Same, same, you know. Okay, that's a guy. That's a guy. That's a big boy. <laughs> I said that's a big boy and Michael came out of his room and said it's not nice to make fun of me. That was funny. You know, he's a funny guy, you know? Interesting. I like a good currency converter. We're going to try Mentor for now. I didn't see a ton of counters from them. From Eddie. That was a counter, though. I hope they don't have a counter for my Genesis engine. You know what I'm saying? That's rude. Hmm. Well, so we can currency converter here and activate, but there's no guarantee we're hitting a land with that. We could also just cycle this, get in a Rafine's Tower and play that. Yeah, I think we're just doing that. I'd rather have a guaranteed fourth land here. Oh, don't cast that. Just play that. All right. I got these little toffee candies from Costco, and I've had... Almond bits in my in my teeth for like the duration of this draft. Okay, Jace is good. Jace is good. I'll take a vindicate off the top. Really don't want to go timeless dragon and then they just bounce it. That would be sad.
Oh, that's fascinating. Hmm. I think I like that next turn when we can actually make a guy and then time walk and then attack with the guy and then fall on Shinobi. That sounds pretty good if we can survive one turn. Fingers crossed this is difficult to deal with. God, Jace is such a beating man. Yep, that seems fine. They changed their mind. Okay, this is something big and stupid. Okay. That's good. Great. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright. Well. Just at the mercy of whatever they do. Hmm. Looking at my top. My tippity tap. They have four cards in hand. We have four cards in hand. One, two, three. They have six mana, we have four mana. They have seven mana, we have four mana. Okay, this is another thing you're doing. Oh no. What's happening? Mind twist. Seems good. That's a bummer. <sighs> Great. I'm surprised you didn't do this, but... Hmm, <laughs> boys. From the battlefield? Let's put there from the battlefield. Yep. Oh, Lord. I feel like this game's over. Don't lose heart, Mr. Fredo. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. Yep. I mean, we're at 20, so I'm having a hard time conceding here, but it, it doesn't feel great. Jace the Mind Sculptor is kind of a dick face. Little old dick face Jace. That's what they called him back in the day. Sure. Hey, it's in my hand now. Oh, he's gone. I guess we can get Tundra. I mean, if we find a way to deal with this Jace and they don't have an answer, like, eh, it's not... I mean, this guy's good. Oh, is this just going to be a Fallen Shinobi here? No, okay. Okay. 
We're going to play this first because it gets around Spell Pierce at the very least. Counter spells. Oh my god. Did we play a land this turn? I'm tempted to just Lingering Souls here. Discard Lingering Souls, play Planes. Uh, we did not. Okay. I'm actually feeling a little better now. They have two cards. We have tons of blockers. Okay, well, glad we didn't concede, I guess. Genesis Engine is one bad Mamma Gemma as well. That's infinite mana, but with one land, it doesn't matter. I guess it does. Oh, is it just, do they just have Hangerback Walker? If they have Walking Ballista, it's, it's over, and that would be really cool. Memory Jar. Uh, okay. I mean, I can't do anything. This is a great hand, and I wish I could keep it, but... That's really good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, what I mean. Like, I claw my way back in. I kill a Jace. I make some tokens. And then they're like, draw seven with infinite mana. And you're like, okay. Well, I tried. I gave it my best. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, you're just going to get... going to get... Snuff out a token. Okay. I mean, their hand had to be Memory Jar Basalt Monolith, which is kind of funny. Or uh, Memory Jar Zerda with Basalt Monolith the exact turn before. Wow, Baleful Mastery as well. Okay, I mean, they're getting rid of my guys. No blocks. No damn it. Okay, well, we lose this whole hand, which is really kind of sad. Oh, they had so many lands there. That's a... Yeah, they had Teferi, they had Island, Caracas, Teferi, Silent Clearing, and Plains, so four lands. All right. Mana Vault. Oh, interesting. Does this do anything? Uh, one, two, three. It's not, I think we just pitched Flash here. Does Necromancy do anything? It's gotta do something, right? With this, with this sequence of, with this amount of bad Larrys. One, two, three. So we can actually play Mana Vault. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then Staff, Teferi, Vindicate, Time Walk, Parallax, Fallen Shinobi. What do you got? Also nothing great. They're also in top deck mode. Maybe it's just Cannoneer here. I don't love them just having Thieving Skydiver for like when they top deck their Fallen Shinobi though. So actually maybe it's just play, let's just Timeless Dragon here. And maybe I just keep Mana Vault because I don't think it's really doing anything for us. But like if we draw if we draw two bangers next turn, I don't really want to discard. We also get to look at three cards every turn, which is pretty good. It's good for the recovery effort for sure. Mm. 
Nothing. Love it. Love it. Intuition with necromancy, huh? Hmm. It's a little scary. Instead, I will draw two cards. One will be an Atrax or an Archon. i just kidding. It was just a little joke I like to tell. Hmm. I think we're just pitching this and playing Kappa Cannoneer. And then we can start making guys with Karn. We're not attacking because I if they top deck Fallen Shinobi, the last thing I want is for them to Fallen Shinobi us, especially when we still have a Trax and Archon in the deck. So I'm keeping all blockers on deck. I feel like we're doing okay here. But then again, it's Vintage Cube. Shit can flip on a dime, you know? Reanimate. That might be worth Fallen shinobi -ing. Or we can go get Monastery Mentor, play Karn. I have eight cards. I'm not really... Not really thrilled about the implications of uh, getting too low. I'm actually tempted to attack with these three. That doesn't feel correct, but maybe it is. No. We'll just get in there with this guy for now. Paying costs. Oh, dear. What just happened? I am tempted to reanimate something. Um, I feel like it's got to be Fallen Shinobi here. Uh, I don't think it's anything, to be honest. I don't really want to overextend here. I don't know what they have. I am going to make another guy, and then I think we're going to start attacking with the 8-8 next turn. Oh, they could also use Zerta to just make their Thieving Skydiver unblockable, but that's not always super obvious. Draw two, man. Discard one. It's friggin' wild. It's your boy. Your beautiful Arcani boy. Okay. Hit that trig. What are you willing to sacrifice? Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. Activate Atraxa, discard, then we just die at that point. Make a guy. Give this guy unblock a belay. All right, let's see if this does anything. Why do we leave the other guy back? I guess they're going to two. They have to deal with three creatures with one card in hand. I can't imagine that they have it. Oh my God, really? What's going on? Oh God, I'm terrified. Solitude is a good one, man. Wow, that was a good one. They're going to be the Cannoneer. Do I gain life? I gain seven. All right, they got to pay four more. That seems good, but it's not. I don't think that's going to do it. This is still 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 damage. So they do got to block something. Okay. Might as well play a land here. Even though it looks like we might have already done that. Alright. See what you get. Toxic Deluge for six. Oh, got him. Thank goodness that turned around. I was really concerned after round one, but uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.